So it's time for number six in my series of comic book movie reviews, with the sequel to the first rated X animated and comic book movie ever made. So can this one stand up to its iconic predecessor? The Nine Lives of Fritz the Cat is brought to us by director Robert Taylor and stars the voice talents of Skip Tennant, Reva Rose, and Peter Leeds. So The Nine Lives of Fritz the Cat is the 1974 sequel to the 1972 original Fritz the Cat. You know that one animated comic book movie that was rated X. This time around, Fritz receives an R rating, but don't think that means that any of the crazy over-the-top shenanigans have been lessened. In fact, this movie probably shows a bit more and goes a bit further than the original did. There's no shortage of drug use, fucking tits ass, and cat dick in this flick. So if that's what you came for, you'll be pleased. However, if that's not it, and what you're actually here for is a coherent story with interesting characters, well, you might find yourself a bit disappointed. Much more than the original Fritz the Cat, which was somewhat an anthology flick, it was kind of like three stories in one loosely tied together, Nine Lives of Fritz the Cat is just that. It's nine short stories about the lives of Fritz the Cat. They're kind of sort of tied together as Fritz tells these stories about the nine lives that he's led, which I don't think that's how it's supposed to work with cats, but whatever, the movie doesn't really go out of its way to explain the situation. We see Fritz down on his luck with a wife and kid and just not giving a fuck about life and kind of tuning her out as she's like bitching and moaning to him to get a job and do this and that. Fritz meeting God, supposedly, which is a homeless guy that lives in a trash can. Fritz is a courier who is taking a message from the United States of America, where all the white people live, and into New Jersey, which has become kind of like the new Africa or something where all the black people, aka the crows, live. And also, Fritz as a Nazi. Yeah, you heard that right, Nazi Fritz. Yeah, Hitler, the devil, revolutionist, all kinds of crazy shit is in this fucking movie. Now, where the first movie was a bit incoherent at times, it still had a message. It had things to say. It was making commentary. And it followed this commentary up with its visuals. It didn't always make total sense, and some of its commentary was a bit out there, but the movie did have a purpose. It had something to say. Doesn't mean it's a great movie, but it is an interesting movie. It is worth seeing at least once, just to say that you saw it and to see this message that it is trying to put out there. The Nine Lives of Fritz the Cat attempts to have a message, and I think it does comment on a lot of social issues and things out in the world, but it never really goes beyond that. It just kind of sees these things. It doesn't really give us anything else. It doesn't have anything to say about these issues. It talks about them and shows them quite a bit, but the commentary is just not there. This makes the whole affair seem a bit hollow and even more disjointed. You start to wonder, why am I seeing, what the fuck is going on? Why is this happening? Why is Fritz a fucking Nazi? I get where the movie was coming from as far as what it was showing us, that's great. You're showing us this, you're saying it happens, but then what? It's like you set up your message, but you never gave it to us, which in turn makes it seem like the message of the movie is just to shock us. And while I do think that is part of the purpose of this film is just to shock us, I think that they thought they were commenting on something. They thought they were having something to say. But all of the creative minds behind the original Fritz the Cat are not here. This is a whole bunch of other people that were contracted to make another Fritz the Cat movie because the first one was so damn successful. And in that move from the original creators to who we get here, it lost some of its soul. This seems like a movie that is trying to be a Fritz the Cat movie. Not that Fritz the Cat is that prolific or anything, but like I said, it did have something to say. Like it or not, that movie had a message. It had something it wanted to show you and then it commented on it. Here it's just kind of soulless and seems like an imitation. We get a whole lot of trippy visuals. I mean as far as the art style goes it's in line here. In fact the art style here is probably just slightly better than the original. Not by much but you could tell that there was more money pumped into this movie. However there is this really weird thing they do in this film. They show like live action bits that's like stock footage and it doesn't really serve much of a purpose. I think maybe this 
happened like once or twice in the original just real quick. It would show a group of people or it would be talking about a passage of time and it would show some like old stock footage of people like walking around in a massive city or something and it was just trying to convey that passage of time. Here they just have like a whole lot of live action parts of people like dancing and singing and playing instruments and stuff and it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't fit. There's even an entire sequence of like five plus minutes that is almost nothing but these random old black and white live action bits just like crushed together. There's a song that goes along with it and every now and then Fritz himself in a top hat will pop up on screen and be superimposed on top of this stuff. It serves no fucking purpose and this entire scene you're wondering what the fuck am I watching? What is happening here? Worse yet when this scene is over that's one of Fritz's lives and you're kind of like what 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 happened? Was this just because you couldn't think of a ninth story so you just did this thing like a pseudo weird ass music video and stuck it in there just to hit that nine quota? It does nothing for the film except for pump the fucking brakes even more than it already had. Now, there's really only one story here that actually becomes interesting. We run across a few characters here or there that are interesting just because they're kind of over the top and weird. But the one story about the courier Fritz the Cat who goes from the United States of America to the new United Africa Republic or whatever they call it, where they took over New Jersey and that's like where all the black people live and all the white people are everywhere else. This was about as close as we got to the movie actually committing to a message and having something to say. They didn't quite make it, but I did like what they set up here. Not necessarily the situation, it's a fucked up situation, but I liked what the movie was trying trying to say, what it was trying to put out there into the world. Problem is, when it got to the part where they were supposed to say something about this situation, this really interesting situation that they did set up, they just didn't. They're silent. Much like the rest of the movie, they just don't have anything prolific or just anything period to fucking say. And that really just robbed the movie of anything interesting for you, the viewer, to check out. This movie is more like a random collage of somewhat interesting at times visuals and sounds and that's about it. There's nothing that you really gain from this. There's nothing really interesting in the story to keep you moving forward and the movie just doesn't have anything to say. I know I've said that a lot of times but let's be real that is a big part of Fritz the Cat. Having something to say about society, social commentary and it's just missing. It's like taking the wars out of Star Wars. What are you left with? Fucking stars. Who gives a fuck about that? And here who gives a fuck about Fritz the Cat when he he has absolutely fuck all nothing to really say about the world. From a production value standpoint, like I said, the artwork is maybe slightly better. You could tell that there is some more money on screen here, but everything else is pretty much in line with the other movie. The voice talents, the aforementioned artwork, the music, all that, it all works here. The editing, when they're actually trying to tell a story, regardless if the story is interesting or not, is well done too. Really, the biggest problem with this movie has nothing to do with the technical side of things. It's just all narrative. There's just nothing here. They had the money, they had the technical talent and they had the property. They could have made a movie. They were there to make a movie. There just doesn't seem like there was a movie to be made, but they fucking made it anyway. There are a couple of humorous parts here or there that'll bring a slight smile to your face, but that's about it. This movie is just pretty empty overall. Guys, at the end of the day, The Nine Lives of Fritz the Cat just isn't worth much of your time. I found it really hard to pay attention to this movie because it's just really boring and slow and just nothing's happening. Happening. There's a couple of glimmers of hope here or there that kind of sort of get you to paying attention, but then it all ends in disappointment. There's just nothing here. No soul. Vacant eyes. On the surface, it looks and sounds the part. It's got all the technical aspects that a Fritz the Cat movie needs, but it is absolutely missing the soul. And those technical aspects are the only thing that really saved this movie. Because of those, I'll say it's not an absolute dumpster fire, but it ain't far from it. So if you really want to check out The Nine Lives of Fritz the Cat at best, Best? Maybe while you're like vacuuming the living room or something in the background, have it on. If it's on, USA, up all night. It's not worth it. Hi, I'm Gilbert Godfrey. Hi, it's Blonde on USA, up all night. It's so good. It's just not worth it. I was really disappointed by this movie, especially coming off of Fritz the Cat. While I didn't think Fritz the Cat was the greatest movie ever, it did get you to thinking, and that's something. You wanted to talk about this movie, you wanted to kind of ponder it a bit. It put questions out there and gave you some answers, but also asked you, what do you think? Nine Lives just really doesn't do that. It just shows you some shit and says, hey, here's some images, what do you think? Because of that and everything else I said, I don't really recommend this movie, so I'm gonna say, just kind of stay 
stay away from this one. So there it is, guys, my review of the nine lives of Fritz the Cat. If you enjoyed, want more content like this, hit that subscribe button and help my little channel grow. If you want to help out the channel, check out my Patreon in the description below and become a jarhead and get some of the awesome benefits that go along with that like these guys. And possibly join my top tier and become a bad motherfucker like my man Greg. If you liked what I had to say, give me a like. If not, let me know in the comments below why. And as always, stay sexy, New Jersey. Nine times as funky. It's disgusting. How dare you? You got no class, man. As fabulous Fritz out Fritzes himself. So what's next on the comic book movie review list? Oh, great. It's a TV pilot that got made into a full-length movie. And not just that, but it's a TV pilot that got made into a full-length movie that I've never fucking heard of. Yeah. I'm sure this is gonna be great.